I asked to get another spirit guide and you would not believe what happened. <laughs> Welcome everybody, I'm Natasha Cosmic Empress and this is Cosmic Vlog 001. So what I want to do, I want to share my personal spiritual experiences with you in a more informal way. So I'm going to start a Cosmic Vlog and I am in the Black Forest. This is not a green screen, this is one of my lovely nieces <laughs> right here. Say hello, I have another niece right hello. there. Hello there. Hello. <laughs> so <laughs> I've done a couple of Q&As with them and I have a lovely background, the grass, the setting sun here. I mean, take a, take, take a look at this, guys. I'm just going to show you, okay? I'm going to show you. You see, this is so gorgeous. We are here in a little cabin and get ready, guys, for some beautiful videos with beautiful scenery <laughs> in the next few days. But before you do anything, my beautiful divine seekers, please hit that subscribe button and like the video, yes? Okay, so. I asked for a new spirit guide and you're thinking, why is this? Have you seen my other video about my galactic spirit guides? All the guides that I have right now, all my six spirit guides are actually galactic spirit guides, cosmic spirit guides. They're starseed spirit guides. As I am also a starseed, you know by now, I am of firstborn origin of starseed Pleiadian. I'm also Arcturian and I also recently found out that I am a blueprinter. So I haven't talked about the blueprinters a lot yet. I'm going to make videos about each starseed origin. Um, the blueprinters are more like a job description. The blueprinters are a group of souls that are actually responsible for life and for creating life, for creating planets, for creating how souls incarnate, right? Um, and I found out I'm a blueprint deliverer, so I'm going to talk more about that at a later point in time. But as in the last few months, things for me have been exploding in the spiritual sector. I mean, in the last few months, I have gained the ability to really connect to my team of guides. I have gained the ability to dive so deeply into past lives of my starseed clients. Um, my psychic abilities have opened up like crazy. I've, I've been channeling things, I've been seeing things. Um, so because of this expansion, that has really been exponential for me because I've been doing my work. Yeah, I've been doing my work. It doesn't come naturally. I wasn't born psychic, right? I have been doing my work, working every day, um, all day long in the spiritual realm, doing readings for my clients, channeling, doing spiritual videos, doing card readings. So if you do your spiritual work, then those things start to open up, okay? So if I can do it, you can do it, <laughs> okay? So. Then I felt the need, I felt the need to ask for more support, more support and assistance. So what I did was I entered my Akashic record. I do this almost every day that I go up into my own book of life, my own Akashic record, and I ask my spirit guides to help me. I ask for specific things and themes and I ask for messages and I ask to connect. And so I connected to my own spirit guide team and I said, okay, can you please all step forward? And all of my six beautiful spirit guides came forward. My Arcturian spirit guide, my Pleiadian spirit guide, my Syrian lion being spirit guide, my angelic spirit guide from the Andromeda galaxy, my spirit guide from Lyra, from the from Vega, right? The planet of Vega and the constellation of Lyra and my spirit guide from Mars. <laughs> I got one from Mars too. <laughs> I asked them all to step forward and I said, beautiful spirit guides, I feel I need more support. Can I get another guide? Do you agree? And all of them kind of smiled and said, yeah, of course, of course. So they were all kind of smiling a little bit and a little bit smug. 
And I said, okay, okay, so who is it? Who is it? Like, how can I get one? And they all smiled. And I said, you have one for me already, don't you? And then they all nodded. And I was so excited. I was so excited because specifically for my business, specifically for me to open up my blueprinter abilities to channel more light, to channel the light codes of Mother Gaia, of life, of ascension, all that. I wanted more support. So they all said, yes, of course. And okay, so and this is what happened, okay? And this shows you how spirit guides are like so great. They have so much humor, they're so much fun. They weave their stories into your life, into your imagination, into what you resonate with. <laughs> and so this is what happened, guys. This is what happened. I said, okay, I, I, I want this. I, I want to know who is it, who is it, who is it? So they all stepped aside. And this is all while I'm in deep meditation channeling this, right? They were standing like this and they parted in the middle. And through the middle <laughs> walks, okay? Walks Yoda from Star Wars. <laughs> okay? And I thought, okay, no, no. I thought, no, 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 no. I'm making this up. This is this can't be right. Like I'm I'm just making it up because I'm crazy. I'm what is this? And I thought, no, 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 no. Okay, so I kind of made my mind blank again. And I said, okay, now let the image come through. And then the face of Yoda with the little ears and the little face was right in front of me. And was kind of like looking at me like this. And I'm like, oh, really? Oh, really? And then all the information came through in, <laughs> in knowing. I just knew. Okay, for me, I know things. I am clear cognizant. That means in a flash, the information comes. I don't see it that much. I also have visions. I, I see, I feel, yes, but I just know things. And I knew that Yoda was an Arcturian blueprint originator spirit guide that had been waiting for a long time for me. <laughs> and I was like, wow, wow. And I was, I was so happy. I was so thrilled because you know that I work a lot with fantasy and with imagination and a lot of my spirit guides show themselves, they reveal themselves as fantasy figures, right? I mean, my Syrian lion being guide is like Aslan from the Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe, right? <laughs> um, my, my other Arcturian spirit guide, looks exactly like those blue people out of the movie Avatar. Um, my chief Akashic Records guide, he is Gandalf from Lord of the Rings. He looks exactly like Gandalf, also an Arcturian, very wise spirit guide. But I call him Gandalf. He says, call me Gandalf. And he looks exactly like Gandalf. He's one of the first guys that ever showed himself to me. He's my gatekeeper guide. So. Of course, I thought, of course, of course, like, and you know, <laughs> Star Wars and especially Yoda has been woven throughout my life ever since I was like 14, 15 years old and I saw that Star Wars movie. Um, I was in love with Star Wars, with the force, with the forces of dark and the forces of light, with Yoda. I mean, Yoda is a real master, right? And that he would step forward as an Arcturian, very ancient, ancient, ancient master guide for me just made me so happy and I felt so at ease. So if you connect to your spirit guides and some, some really fun, crazy or, or something, something comes up that doesn't seem so, you know, elated or, or mighty, just something that makes you feel so at ease, that makes you feel happy. That's what they want. Spirit guides are there to help and guide you every single day in what you need. So they will, they will reveal themselves to you as something that really makes sense to you, as something that makes you relax. So <laughs> I was so happy. And you know, recently I have been talking like Yoda. It's like sometimes my fiance looks at me and I was saying, and I would say, for example, happy I am um, to the park 
I will walk. You know, that's how he speaks. And I've been speaking like that lately. It's crazy. And I've been seeing the image of Yoda here and there lately. And <laughs> it's just, it's just so cool. It's just so cool that that happened. And I really needed Yoda. I, or I really needed this high, very high dimensional, very high vibrational, very wise ancient spirit guide to help me bring down the light codes because he's he's a blueprint originator so just as a quick preview to the video i'm going to make the blueprint the blueprint originators are the ones that created the tapestry of life the design of life the ones who thought how it would all work right? The originators. It's like the life originators, that very, very high, high dimensional group of beings that work very closely with divine source or with creator source or with God, how you call it. Like the hands of God, I would call them. And the blueprinters are a larger group. And me as a blueprint deliverer, the blueprint deliverers come to incarnate, to deliver the codes of light, to deliver the message and the knowledge how life is meant to be lived. We blueprint deliverers hold the code. Oh my goodness. Look, look at this. Hello. Wow, this is <laughs> more family of mine. <laughs> We're here delivering the blueprint. Oh my goodness, they're having a good time. <laughs> Beautiful background, eh? So keep going, keep going. <laughs> hello. hello. Keep Okay, hello. now we all have to say hello. hello. I'm in the middle of the video. My beautiful more nieces. <laughs> what is your names? Your names, please. Who are you? Hello, my name is Fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and who are you? Names, Namen, please. You are? Lena. Lena, yes. And who, who are the other ones? We already know you and you. We already know you and you. And who are you? I you am Paulina. Say Paulina. <laughs> Thank you guys. You're great. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, they're going again. Bye. Okay, so so this is a cosmic vlog. So this is all allowed. This is allowed. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> all right, so. So, yeah. I basically said what I wanted to say that as a blueprint deliverer, um, I feel this Arcturian spirit guide of higher dimensions, of very high vibrational, with a lot of knowledge, is there to help me move to a new level. And he's been around. He's been around for a long time. Time is not linear anyways. So I feel he inserted his energy into my life a few times so I would recognize him and I would, I would be able to connect. And already I connected him a few times and I've gotten incredible downloads. I've more things have opened up because of him. So I just wanted to share that with you. And um, if you like this, I'm going to continue with these cosmic vlogs. I'm going to continue to, to share my story because I want you to know that we're basically all psychic, intuitive, divine beings. I'm no different than you are. I've just worked harder at it perhaps right that's that's the only difference in the last few years i've worked on my meditation on my spirituality i've done my work i'm doing my spiritual journeys i'm learning i'm studying i'm practicing all the time more and more and that's how i get my spirit guides that's how i am able to deepen my spiritual practice and every single soul on this planet that desires can do this right if you want to know your spirit guides you can you just have to sit down every day and meditate and talk to them and do your work and find ways find practitioners find role models um, find teachers or just do it all by yourself so if i can do it you can do it and every single one of you is a, a really important part an important piece of this tapestry that we are weaving in order for us to ascend, in order for us to bring more positivity and love and to bring to this world the message that life can be beautiful, life can, can be full of light. 
We were made, we were born to live in light and love and peace and not in darkness and suffering as there's a lot of that going on. Okay, so each one of you is really important. And if you found your way to this video and if you like this, um, please share it with someone who would like to take part in this journey. And I'm very grateful that you're with me in this journey together. Okay, so I'm going to continue doing a few cosmic vlogs. See if you like it. Thank you so much. And meditate tonight. Just get still. Raise your vibration a little bit and ask your spirit guides to reveal themselves for you and just be open. And it's not that hard. You just have to do it and then they will speak to you. you the spiritual world will open to you and then you'll be channeling Yodas and Gandalfs and <laughs> anyone else who you want in no time, I promise you. Okay, thank you guys. This is the end of Cosmic Vlog 001. Ciao for now.